Kart Super Tournament continues on, but with a little bit of a change. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, and there has been some shuffling in the structure of this tournament. As you know, the first four videos, uh, 16 cars each, encompass 64 total cars, so we'll get a couple brutals in that Moai going out first. And those 64 cars have been used up. And over on the Diecast Racing TV channel, 64 cars have been used as well amongst those four videos. Well, we need some more cars. So based on the shuffling, we have a few extra. We have now 64 more cars uh, spread amongst the two channels. But uh, that will leave 32 for each. And they'll be now running eight per video going best time per two races. So you'll see that here. These two are running again, and the goal will be best time out of the two. After that first performance from the Brutal there with only a 9.32, not a great showing, but he's going to go ahead and win this one again. So either way, he'll be moving on. And yeah, that's 9.18. So not a strong start, but it will at least advance. The shuffle of uh, structure is uh, really a effort. Cappy and Goomba will get going here. Effort by the officials to make uh, the last half of the, I guess, the tryouts or the uh, the group stages a little bit more fair. Really allow for cars to get on the track a couple times, experience both lanes, and really go for speed over uh, just victory. There's Cappy, and that'll be 8.7. And I think it's best. I think it's best considering we have less racers, even though the same number of remaining group stages, well, as we had the first four. But this will take us to the end of eight group stages after these four coming videos from both this channel and the Diecast Racing TV. And then the finals for each channel and then the finals of the combined channels will all proceed in order. They change the lanes here. Cappy again way out ahead, and he's going to put this one away easily. You're probably going to pick up an 8 point... I was going to say an 8.7, but there's an 8.69, so it cuts it down. And, uh... Well, a little bit of a stronger performance there. Got to stay in the mid-8s. That, that's really where the best times have been so far. We've seen a couple get as low as that 8.3... And whatnot, but those are really the elite racers. Banana and Shy Guy. Banana in that B dash, just a B's all the way around. And Shy Guy in there in the Mach 8. And here he goes. Ooh, losing speed through the shorter hills. And Banana's got the uh, lead by a couple of lengths here down the back straight. And Shy Guy zigzags inside, but uselessly. And he'll be down a few milliseconds towards the end. Moving on, we're gonna run them once again. Another chance here for the banana to put, uh, well, I guess a better time on the board. He may not be able to, and he may not even have the best time of this one. Shy Guy taking a commanding lead out by many lengths because he underdo point uh, seven three. No, nah, 8.95. And he will fall short of moving on even though he really destroyed the V-Dasher there with this race. Let's go Pink Cold Peach and the bob -omb. And we're really getting uh, arbitrary here with some of the characters. bob -omb, Pink Cold Peach, really more obscure in the Mushroom Kingdom when it comes to racing. Here we go Peach on there on the far side, up by a couple of lengths, and the gap's closing as bob -omb comes back inside, has the inside hairpin, so he's out in front a couple of lengths, and he streaks towards the end, and he's got speed and enough to bring him across. 9.11. Truthfully, not a very good time. But, uh... Well, he at least beat out Pink Old Peach. Can he put a better number on the board? Because everything's foreshadowing here. You see a, a, a car win in his first group, but if he's putting up times above 9 seconds, you know he's going to fall short later on. Pink Old Peach looking for a better time this time. Had the lead, but he loses it at the end by a wheel length. And she'll come up short of a strong time as well. bob -um brings it down into the eights and he'll move on. We have our remaining four. No impressive times here. Nothing like our first four groups where we really had 
Race was breaking records. As down as a 8.37, I think, might have been the fastest time, if I remember correctly. But uh, maybe we'll be surprised here. Happy looking a little faster. He's been the fastest so far today. And he's out in front of the Banana B-Dasher. And loses the lead out of the final hairpin. And it's gone. 8.79. And, well, that will shake things up a little bit, especially uh, considering that Cappy had uh, quite strong times. is down towards 8.69 in the first uh, group he was in, first 1v1. So, I mean, really slow down here. Here comes Cappy a little bit faster this time. Man's going to get the inside line. Might have some speed down the back straight. And, yeah, no acceleration from the B dasher. And I think that's enough. Oh, that is enough to move on. 8.74. 0.05 improvement. Well, not really improvement. More as a 0.05 lead. And he's going to move on. Now we have bob -omb and the Brutal character. And bob -omb coming out a lot faster than he looked in his first 1v1 and I don't know how he's going to look down the back straight, but it looks like Brutal is starting to catch up. Standard card has speed, but, well, he couldn't uh, push towards the end there very well. I mean, honestly, I thought I was going to see some massive acceleration. But uh, nothing, 8.92. I mean, bob -omb is just a couple tenths off where he needs to be to face whoever he's going to face in the final, should he make it there. But I think he might be able to pull it back together if he's... Uh, he stays straight and learns each time he races on the track. He may right here, up by a few lengths. Brutal tries to fight back in, but no. 8.98. So a worse time that he'll be shifting on. Here we are to the finals. Let's take a look. We have Cappy, we have bob -omb. bob -omb starting out a lot faster. Cappy, your faster racer overall, and he's going to fight back already through that first hill. Around that first hairpin, still looking good for Cappy, who takes a lead down into Sector 2 over those couple of hills. And the inside line is out by many lengths, and that's at least a couple tenths of a second or more. And he'll put up an 8.7, and that'll be a tough time to beat. Let's change lanes. Bob on Cappy, same two. Cappy on the near side, now to the far side. Up by a few lengths already, but has to work with that outside line. Bob -omb has a chance to fight back in. There he goes on the inside line. He's only down the length, but can't accelerate on the end. And it will be Cappy again with 8.59. And I think whatever Bob -omb's time was, was record breaking for himself, a new PB. But the problem was it came at a time where, well, he needed to do a little bit better. Cappy will take that. Fastest time, 8.59. He will struggle against some of those other uh, winners from the other videos later on. But for now, good enough. And we'll see you next time on Races and Fun.